How's it going, everyone? It's Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Madam Webb? Madam Webb, I was all set to see you. Dakota Johnson gave me those seductive Twitter uh, promos, and, and oh boy, I was just so excited to see these four strong, powerful, powerful spider women. And, and then we heard that Andrew Garfield was going to be the Spider-Man, and they had to do reshoots to make it that Tom Holland was going to be the Spider-Man in the universe. And guess what? There's no fucking Spider-Man in the universe. It's a standalone movie, and there's no reason for any of us to go see it. I mean, there was really no reason before, but if there was a slight chance to go, that reason's gone now. And we can thank the Madam Web Director for letting us know. Madam Web Director puts final nail in film box office coffin. Firm, Spider-Man takes a place in a standalone world. And by the way, yeah, I'm aware multiverse you could just say multiverse eddie from venom ended up in the mcu for a couple seconds before he ported back in so sure 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 she can be in her own and then multiverse and she'll still stand up i'm saying is you don't say that out loud before the movie comes out you leave a hint that you might see something actually spider-man in confirming that the film will have little to offer audiences outside of those with a specific affinity for the web slingers female allies and we we know who you are uh, or a morbid curiosity towards the fact that it actually went to the Clone Saga storyline for inspiration, Madam Web director S.J. Clarkson has revealed that rather than taking place in Sony's Spider-Man without a Spider-Man cinematic universe, the Dakota Johnson-led spinoff instead exists in its own standalone world. So they're doing the, the Batman, they're doing the Elseworld, the, we're on our own little thing. Uh, Clarkson confirmed this production fumble during a January 19th interview given to Entertainment Weekly. And again, it's a fumble because the only reason people are even going to see this and the only reason it was made to begin with was because it's connected to Spider-Man. When you say you're going to remove those connections by having it in a solo universe, a bunch of people just suddenly don't give a shit when they barely gave a shit before. Speaking to her decision to take a more grounded approach, oh, I hate when they say grounded now because it's not, uh, approach to uh, Cassandra Webb's silver screen debut rather than the more fantastical and bombastic one seen in most other Hollywood superhero fare. The director explained that she did so in service of what she saw as the psychological cerebral nature of the titular heroine's powers. Bitch, you made Final Fantasy. Not too sound, too wanky about it, but it's about what's going on in Cassie's head and her grappling with that, detailed Clarkson. Throwing in a spot of her native British slang, is she going insane? Is she real? She's battling with that within herself and trying to understand. That's the Madam Web that I know. Oddly enough, they could have had her blind and disabled and older, but they decided to go with ageism, ableism, and uh, and what was it, sightism, and gave her gave her her sight back, made her walk, made her young and hot. Yeah, that's, they missed all these virtue signal points. It's almost like they actually don't care about that. In light of the supposed desire to keep the film from getting too in the sky with its plot, I think they mean entertaining, the Marvel's Jessica Jones and Marvel's Defenders director, oh, Jesus. Well, that explains it. That fucking explains it. Because Jessica Jones, written in the first season, is good, and the other two seasons are unwatchable. And Marvel's Defenders was just not good. It just wasn't good. Uh, taking place completely separate from either the MCU. Sony's aforementioned Spider-Man without a Spider-Man universe or any other established continuity yet. She's definitely in a standalone world, explicitly confirmed by Clarkson. I was able to just have free reign and let the movie be what it needed to be, which apparently wasn't entertaining, as opposed to trying to force it into something else. You mean trying to force a Spider-Man property into a Spider-Man world? That was the gift in a way be able to take something and bring a fresh and I hope original take to it. It was not original. I can already tell. So you've done Final Fantasy in a non-Spider-Man universe. However, while Clarkson appears to frame the decision to extra exile, rather, Madam Web from Marvel's Cinematic Universe as a purely creative one, given a recent whisper on the digital street, it seems more likely that the movie was decided upon thanks to Sony executives absolutely destroying both the film's internal and franchise timeline in service of chasing marketing synergy with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Per veteran, yeah, and we did a story on this. Per veteran Hollywood industry reporter and the eponymous found, yeah, yeah, Jeff Snyder thought for some reason that the Andrew Garfield was going to be Spider-Man in that world, not that he was going to be in the movie, but like maybe this is for the sequels or whatever he had it, but for whatever reason, Andrew Garfield was supposed to be the Spider-Man in that world. To this end, Snyder alleged that the film 
they did a bunch of reshoots to line up or remove so it lined up with Holland. And now it looks like it's just not going to line up with anything. It's its own, its own, its own world. Uh, since that's what the reshoots are for, like to address whether it's costumes or style or any flip flow. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. It's in its own world. No connections to any Spider Man, be it the MCU or Andrew Garfield, and no reason to see this movie unless you really got a. You really got a good one for Dakota Johnson. And just go watch the Fifty Shades of Grey. I, I promise you, those will probably be more entertaining and have more action that you'll actually watch the whole time. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. We will see you on the next one.